Hey YouTubers, I want to do a quick review of a Target I just bought. It's made by Allen. And I just picked this up at Princess Auto here in Canada. Uh, it was $15. picked up a couple of them. And it's their spinning Target. These fold out, so it's, stick them in the ground. Uh, it's made for twenty twos and air guns, and I wouldn't shoot it with anything bigger than that because it's built eighth of an inch thick steel. I um, haven't had a chance to really try it out because it's been uh, pouring rain here for the last few days. I haven't had a chance to take it to the range. Be kind of busy, but uh, anyways, um, try it. Uh, I'm going to try it with some uh, twenty two long rifles at uh, twenty meters and. Uh, We'll see how okay, it so these up. ones are set up at 20 meters, and I was shooting at them with uh, a rifle using CCI Blazer. And I'll show you the side view here. It bent the living shit out of them. Uh, all three, I was shooting all three of them. And this one, I took it and put it against a, another piece of plate steel and pounded it flat and set it at the uh, 10 yard line. 10 meter, and I was shooting it with uh, CCI shorts. Now you probably can't see it, but it just put little dents in it still. I had this target set up at the 20 meter line, and this one here I shot with CCI standard long rifle, standard velocity. So the side view of it here. Still dented it up pretty good. I shot one in the center, put a nice dent in it. This one here, I shot it with CCI CB longs. It's basically the same velocity and everything as the shorts, just a long case. And it just took off the, the paint and spun it around nicely. And before it poured, I decided to try my hand out the uh, 50 meter line. And I only got one shot off and ended up hitting the crossbar. And I'm going to pick it up, but I put a nice dent in it. So I'm going to have to try it again at the 50 meter line, see what kind of damage you can do. So if anybody's looking into switching from you know, upgrading, or whatever you want to call it, from air rifles to 22s, uh, just you know, keep in mind that you know they are a lot more powerful and you do got to know what you're shooting at. Okay, so let's have a closer look at the cartridges I was using. We have CCI CB shorts, 29 grains. CCI CB longs at 29 grains, CCI standard velocity at 40 grains, and CCI bulk pack blazer. Now these two I'll get okay, to in so a second. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this little comparison here is that I know it's already been done um, and a lot better than I could do it, but I know there are pistols chambered in the 22 short target pistols. I believe that's the round they use in the Olympics. I could be wrong on that one, but I I could swear somebody told me, and I can't remember who, that there was a target pistol that was chambered in the 22 long only. I could be wrong on that. Maybe it was a rifle that was chambered in 22 long only, but uh, if anybody knows, they could put in the uh, descriptions or a video response. But anyways, why I want to do this little comparison is that I was looking for that, if it was a pistol, on YouTube, and I came across this guy's video. I'm not going to say who it was, because I'm trying to cause any bullshit, but um, he had a Ruger pistol. Now, I don't have one of these, the particular model he had. So he was going through it, and he kept saying it was chambered in 22 long. So I put in the comments, is it chambered in 22 long, or is it chambered in 22 long rifle? And his response was that there's no difference between the 22 long. It's the same thing as the 22 long rifle. There's no difference between the two. It's like saying uh, 45 Colt and 45 Long Colt. So, you know, I was, wasn't trying to be a know-it-all. I didn't put any, like, you know, you're an idiot or anything like that. I said that there actually there is a difference. It'd be more like saying the 44 Special and the 44 Magnum, or 357 Magnum and 38 Special. And he responded, you know, this, that, and the other, whatever. So anyways, I wanted to show <clears throat> how they came up with the 22 Long Rifle. As you can see, they they share the same case. It's just a bigger bullet for the 22 long rifle, and they got that bullet from this one right here. 
Now this is a, actually just a cut down 22 Magnum case to the right length to make this which is the 22 extra long. Now it's uh, really obsolete. I've never seen one. I had to make this one because I know you can buy like one round. Uh, one guy selling them like one a piece is like 10 bucks a piece. So I just got the right measurements and cut down a 22 Magnum case. That's what this one is. I know that's not the right bullet for it. I just stuck it in there. Um, so I cut that down and made the 22 long, extra long, which you can see is just a little bit longer than the long rifle. So they took the bullet out of the extra long, stuffed it in the case of a long, and came up with a long rifle. And if you found that at all interesting, um, I know Gun Geek's already done a review about cartridges of the world. But that's where I got most of the information about the 22 extra long. Um, I know you can look up stuff on Wikipedia, but one thing I wanted to add about the nice thing about this is you can find oddball stuff. You just kind of flip through it. And you don't need the. Uh, another nice thing is you don't need the first, or I mean, the latest edition. Like this is the ninth edition. I think it's from 2000. But, uh, you know, if you think about it, these cartridges are all pretty much over 100 years old. And, like, the 1911, the 45 ACP is, you know, 100 years old. So, unless you want to know about, like, the 300 blackout or stuff like that, if you find an older uh, cartridge of the world, I'd pick it up. You know, you just kind of flip through it and, you know, learn about oddball stuff or something you didn't know about or stuff like that. Uh, you know, that's all I got for you. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you all on the flip side.